Hello everyone, this is Alvaro and uh, now we're going to start uh, injecting data in uh, this GAN application that we started in the last video. So let's get started. Uh, so we're going to create a new variable, we're going to call it a ref for reference and here and today we're going to learn about uh, some uh, methods uh, with GAN like uh, get, put, path, and val. So let me show you. Uh, we're going to start this database, and we're going to have we're going to go get Manchester United because. This is the best for the club in the world. And what does git do? So let's go check our documentation. We go to git. And it says it loads all data under a key into the context. Now, I want you to think of, uh, I want you to think of this. We're getting Manchester United, but we have never started a data called a node called Manchester United, and but with GAN, uh, uh, bear with me. The even though at this point in time you don't have a database that is called Manchester United, that doesn't mean in the future we won't have a database called Manchester United. So. As soon as we got got get Manchester United, that means that node Manchester United exists. Now we have an empty thing, so we need to start putting some data in it. So to do that, we're going to use the put method. So let's go read what the put method does. It saves data into GAN, syncing it with your connected peers. It has three parameters and only the first is required. And as you can see in our examples, uh, we can go and put a string, you can put a, a number, and you can put a boolean. You can even have a callback uh, after you put your parameters. That's uh, that's a more advanced option. We're going to be covering something really basic right now. So we're going to have, we're going to start pl uh, putting uh, up, um, data. So we're going to start with Rooney. And inside this, we're going to have another object. And we're going to start with name. His name is Wayne. Uh, last name is Rudy. Is number 10. And is he the captain? Oh, that's the position. Striker. Or midfielder, I don't know. At this point in his career. Huh. And if he's he the captain? True. So there we have our we have we have uh, the data of uh, Rooney inside of Manchester United. But how can we see this? So we're going to use another of Gun, Gun's uh, methods. We're going to use uh, val. And let's see what uh, val does. Uh, reads a full object without subscribing to any updates. So, it's just gonna 
read all of this. And for now, this is kind of be working as a console log. So if we go to our local host, and what well, we have read that file, see what it's going to print. It's going to print Rooney. But the Rooney object, what does it have? Where is the rest of the data? So uh, we're going to use path for this. And what path does is what is that no path is navigates through a node's properties. So right now if I type that path and I have Rooney we're going to have all of his properties he's the captain, last name, name, number, position all of the data we just put in here now what if I want something more specific so we can do uh, the dot notation in an object to navigate because that's what path does we want to see is Rooney the captain yes true uh, we want to find out okay, so what's his number he's a number 10 And what position does he play? And he's uh, the striker. Okay, so uh, uh, this is all for today. You have seen how uh, four methods work. Uh, get, put, path, and val. I hope you like this video. Uh, have a good one. Ciao.